Okay, in this section of the course, we're going to talk about Newton's laws of motion when we have friction in the problems. Now, so far, the problems that we've dealt with have had motion, and, and we talked about Newton's laws of motion, but there's been no friction. So we've had an avalanche coming down a mountain with no friction. But in real life, you obviously know we actually have friction. So my question to you is, what is friction, okay? Well, you all know that if you rub your hands together enough, you'll get some heat, okay? And that's because of the friction in your hands. Um, what you really have here is you've, at the microscopic level, you've got your hands sliding past each other and it causes the molecules down there to start to move and movement in general is what we call heat and that's what we sense as heat and that's friction. But in the more general sense, friction is anything that really causes something, a retardation of the motion. So you have a couch in your living room floor on a carpet. Um, well, you, you try to push it and you might get it going, okay, and you start pushing along the carpet, but the carpet is going to be um, rubbing against the bottom of the couch and it's going to be slowing down the couch and so it's going to make it hard to move, okay? And some things have more friction than others. For instance, the carpet is going to have a whole lot more friction than an ice skating rink. If I tried to push that couch on an ice skating rink, it's going to glide right along, okay? And in space, there's no friction at all, okay? So the friction depends on the material that you're, um, in general, that you're pushing across and, uh, and uh, of course, there's no friction at all in space. So <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try to quantify friction a little bit. I guess before I really do that, the, the one thing I want to say is that um, in physics, the way we characterize friction is the following. You have two kinds of frictional forces, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this in graphical form, and let me try to explain to you the two different types of frictional forces that we really deal with in physics, okay? And I'll try to relate that back to, a, to, to real life, okay? Let's draw a quick graph here. Okay, um, this is the force that I'm that I'm pushing with. Okay, and this is the uh, frictional force. I'm going to call that the frictional force. Okay, so let's say I've got this big, giant, heavy, hundred-ton safe or something like that. Okay, it's really heavy, and I've got some carpet underneath it. Okay, I'm trying to push on it with a force F. Okay, and we're going to see what's going to happen up here as we go. Now I'm pushing on this on this thing. Now I start off with a very slow force, with a very low force, and I push with a force, and the frictional force is, is equal and opposite, and so the frictional force is pushing back at me with equal and opposite um, uh, force, and that's why the safe does not initially move, okay? So I push, and 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 the frictional force is getting more and more and more, and this is what we call the static frictional force. Nothing has been moved, nothing is moving, but at the microscopic level, you've got atoms rubbing against each other, and they're pushing back on me, and so as I push with my force, F, that I'm applying, the frictional force goes up and up and up and up, okay? And it's linear. And eventually, I push, and I push, and I push, in the, the uh, force in this region, the frictional force is the static frictional force, and that's just simply going to be equal to some constant called the, the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. And this is all kind of Greek, but basically the frictional force is proportional to how heavy the object is that you're dealing with. So you have some normal force acting perpendicular to the surface, the heavier the object, the more the frictional force. That kind of makes sense. So the frictional force is equal to some, some constant that's, you know, describes if it's carpet or ice or glass or whatever. That's what this is. And it's also proportional to how heavy the object